why I encourage users to try and use free and open source software. One of the reasons as to why I highly recommend many of my viewers try free and open source software, including Linux, is because it is entirely free, and no license keys or subscriptions are needed. The software is entirely free to use, and you can optionally donate to the developers of all this awesome free software. The second reason as to why I recommend you use it is because it respects your privacy more so than some paid for software, especially when it comes to comparing Linux to Windows 11. Linux clearly has a better emphasis on privacy for the user. In fact, many people who do whistleblowing, such as Edward Snowden did with the NSA in 2013, are amongst the people who use Linux in order to stay as private and anonymous as possible while also finding secretive information. This is partly the reason as to why other distros such as Hunix and Co.G have come into existence, and the growing demand for user privacy seems to be considered a lot more by the developers of many Linux distros, whereas Microsoft want all of your info to shove ads at your face everywhere on your PC, even in the start menu. Another reason as to why I recommend free software is because there is a lot of diverse software out there, lots of free stuff exists, especially since a small percentage of the market use Linux and other, less supported systems, so to compensate, developers make a lot of free software for these systems, as well as Windows and Mac OS, and with the ever-growing inequality in our world, is it any wonder free stuff is starting to gain worldwide usage and recognition? The fourth reason as to why I recommend it is because a lot of it does a decent job at what the paid-for alternatives do. Take for example GIMP, LibreOffice, and DaVinci Resolve. All of these programs are free equivalents of already existing software such as Adobe Photoshop or After Effects, the paid-for photo and video editing programs. Finally, the last reason why I recommend it is because it is open source, meaning anyone with some technical know-how can edit the code redistribute it, modify it, or fix a bug or issue. This is often a reason Linux and BSD systems typically receive quicker bug fixes and security patches. Windows always updates on the second Tuesday of every month, has done for a long time. It's known as Patch Tuesday, but Microsoft and Windows developers often take longer to find bugs and issues. Due to the closed source nature of Windows, and Apple developers have the same problem with Mac OS and iOS. Free software is great for any operating system, and if you would like to see some of my top picks, please check out my video on free software you should be using in 2023, that features 10 of my favorite free programs for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Alrighty, I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.